This is a very cozy Canadian mare coming at you with my roots choke. I think this even glows in the dark. I got it in Whistler this summer. My Ritzia sweater, which thanks to you, no longer has a bunch of pills on it. Got my smash and test romper. We're feeling cozy, we're excited. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. My name's Mare, and honestly, we are starting this vlog. It is 12.33, so much later than normal. I just felt this morning like you needed a break from like, good morning, here's my breakfast, which you saw the exact same thing yesterday because it was leftovers. Thomas and I are going to school. Now I'm going to spin class. <laughs> Then I came home and had a bath. I just was like, let's mix it up. Start a little bit later today. So that's what we're doing. I'm having a cheeky cup of coffee. My babe supporting babes. Mug. And I thought, well today, since it's Vlogmas Day 12, we have a giveaway, which is sitting right to my right. And I thought we'd do a little empties segment in today's vlog because there's a lot of garbage on my desk. And I'd like to have it out of my life before the year's over. So let's do that, shall we? Mm. Cheers, you babes. Today's advent calendar um, segment is an hour without screens. So we're doing this marathon or advent calendar of self-care. And I think today may be my toughest one. I could like cheat and count spin as my hour without screens, but I really want to give myself the challenge of not. I mean, I did spin and then I came home and had a bath, but while I was having a bath, I watched YouTube. So I am going to do that later today, do some reading, probably maybe some yoga, but I am someone who is so bad with her phone. Like I'm always on it. I'm always watching YouTube or Netflix or on social media working. I feel like having a podcast on or an audiobook is at least like a little better because I'm not looking at the screen, but I don't like quiet. I don't like to not have something going on in the background, which may be something that I'll need to look at in 2019. Yeah, like my friend Leanne is amazing. She doesn't look at her phone from the time she picks her girls up until the time they go to bed. Every night. Bravo. <laughs> You're so good. So good. So anyway, that's today's advent calendar. I'd be really interested to know how yours went. If you struggle with screen time, I'm sure most of us do. Okay, I'm just gonna sort of get these empties. Let's go through some trash, shall we? Got three dry shampoos. Two are the Colab Dry Shampoo Active, and then the other one is the Unicorn Fragrance, which I just wanted to know what unicorns smelled like. I didn't like the unicorn one. This one is nice too, but like I was saying in a recent video, like, we're not supposed to be using aerosol, is that correct? Is that, someone's decided that's not good for us anymore? Can someone tell me why? Um, these are cruelty free and they are vegan, which is nice, but I go through them obviously so quickly. So I did just buy a powder dry shampoo and so far she's not a fan. <laughs> which my friend Sarah told me she didn't like it initially either and now she loves it and she can go all week without washing her hair, which is my goal too. So. I'm gonna keep trying that one because I also feel like as a powder, it's gonna last way longer, but what's your favorite dry shampoo? These ones are good. They're all from Winners. Uh, I would skip the unicorn one. I really love the Rose Jam stuff, the lotion, the shower gel. Um, it smells delicious. Although I will say, oh my God, it smells so good. Not super moisturizing. Even today I had a lush bath with a ton of Epsom salts and my skin was so dry after. So as much as I love it, um, I don't know if I'll buy another one. Maybe not one this big or I'll ask for it for a gift, but this is lovely. And if you go to Lush a lot, did you know that if you take back, I think five empties, you get a free face mask, fun fact. Okay, speaking of dry skin, a couple of things. This is the Body Shops. 48 hour ultra rich moisture for very dry skin. It's the olive one. I haven't actually bought a body butter in a while. I used to be very diligent about putting this on at bedtime, but now I use something else, which I'll show you in a minute. This smells lovely. I love it. I do love body butter. 
highly recommend especially as we near boxing day because for sure there'll be a sale <laughs> the other body shop lotion which i love and have definitely repurchased i'm already about halfway through the next tub is the ethiopian green coffee cream it says it's like firming and it's supposed to be good for cellulite and stuff but for me i just really like it because i put it on after i get out of the shower pretty quickly after i can get dressed and it definitely keeps my skin moisturized all day and it's definitely empty and it doesn't have a really strong scent um doesn't smell like coffee in case you were wondering and it never competes with my perfume scent so i love this this bad boy <laughs> will come as no surprise to you this is the uh, bath and body works sleep lavender and cedarwood lotion my very worst for wear bottle uh, this was a giveaway already <laughs> during Vlogmas. I talk about this all the time. I love it. It's the moisturizing body cream. This is what I have in my bedside table and love it. I love it so much. I'm giving it to a few people as gifts this year and I already have repurchased it for myself. A couple of Dermavigils products. This is what I use as my skincare routine morning and night. Finish the cleansing milk with DMS and the DMS Base High Classic Night Cream. These are... Staples, I've now been using this for two and a half years and wonderful, wonderful. The only reason why I have a couple breakouts right now is because I have been not diligent in washing my face at night because I was sick and then I just got lazy, which is very unlike me, but I love this brand. Dermavigils, basic. There's nothing basic about it. It's wonderful. Okay, another face product. I just did this Saturday night, the Charcoal Sephora face mask. It was good. It was a, it's a sheet mask, loved it. Love a good sheet mask. My face felt nice in the morning. This morning it feels way nicer because I used that other mask from Origins last night, but I do love a good sheet mask. Something of note with the Sephora sheet masks, some are cruelty free and some are not. So just be mindful of that on the website if that's something that concerns you. I'm always going on about the So Luxury Magnesium Oil, which I use on the back of my neck to sleep better. Again, slept through the night last night less and when I ordered it they sent a sample of the coconut and oat milk bath and um, I'd forgotten how much I loved this and since I have bought giant bags of it I'm gonna keep this little pouch to transfer some from a bigger one to go on vacation for Christmas but what's cool about this natural vegan no nasties it says organic coconut milk powder organic oatmeal it cleanses and moisturizes and you don't have to use soap so what's wonderful about this is Thomas my seven-year-old uh, has a real aversion to lather right now bubbles like even washing his hands he's just got this thing where he doesn't like it this is great because I put it in the water he doesn't know that but it like cleans him without us having to have a battle every time he gets in the bath so this has been awesome also I think with so luxury they still have um, you can use the code mare to get a discount fun facts I like to have a lip color in my car at all times I just keep it in the center console because I find more often times than not I'm out it's like mid-afternoon I'm feeling a bit drab I need some color or I'm heading into a meeting and I don't feel like digging into my purse so this was my car lip color of choice forever it is called beige and it's from NYX uh, really lovely color it's super easy to wear you don't even need like um a mirror to put it on just an easy beautiful lip gloss but it had been in there for far too long so she's going to, in the trash or recycling I should say oh my god I don't even know what this is called it's the elf um, eyeshadow primer love it it's my favorite 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 of all time it's so good put it on then I put on my eyeshadow it makes such a difference never had do I ever put on eyeshadow without this for like the past three years probably I also finished the Kat Von D Locket Concealer, which I love. Uh, you can get this at Sephora. I've repurchased this a billion times and I've already bought another one. I also really like the Tarte Shape Tape, but you can't buy that in Canada, so that is the one that I get. This obviously finished. <laughs> the Essence All About Matte Waterproof Fixing Compact Powder. This was white powder that I love. I'm actually gonna go buy myself a new one. And then the other Essence I product, product which I also love, is their Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. This is my favorite mascara. You can get both of these at the drugstore, shoppers, superstore, I think, um, wherever Essence is sold. And these two, are awesome whether it's the waterproof or not like obviously powder is not waterproof but whatever the fixing powder is is awesome this is long 
Okay, another lip product that I finished is from MAC, which shows you how old it is because I stopped buying MAC a couple years ago because they are not cruelty free, but this used to be a favorite of mine. It's the Fashion City lipstick. Um, I think I had three of these and I liked it for the lip color, but I ended up using it a lot as a blush. I have never really found a cream blush that I like, but I do like a few lipsticks for blush. So I just put it on my hand, let it sit for like a minute, and then take my blush brush and put it on, and I find that it lasts longer, and Fashion City was a favorite of mine. But I did just wanna say, because I prefer cruelty-free stuff now, I never would just throw out everything I already own that seems wasteful and I can't afford that. So I'm still slowly working through, but now when I buy something, I choose to spend my money on something that is cruelty free, as best I can. I'm only a human. Two essential oils that I finished. I like the Now brand from Nature's Fair. I finished the Peppermint and Peaceful Night. Both of these are lovely. I really like Peppermint topically you have to be very careful as you use it but I love it when I have a headache or I've been using it on my sore foot with my magnesium oil and peaceful night is orange tangerine lavender chamomile ylang ylang grapeseed and sandalwood so it says the aroma is floral citrus and I always have something in my diffuser at night and these were great be very careful what essential oils you buy and how you use them. Oh, speaking of essential oils, I finished another past tense. This is from doTERRA. It's a roller ball that I use like this and behind my ears and on the back of my neck when I have a headache and it's awesome. I've already uh, ordered two more. So my last empty feels like a real win because it's a perfume. It's the Victor and Rolf Flower Balm perfume. Uh, I bought this right after Jeremy passed away and it was something that I'd always wanted and I just treated myself to something that would just make me feel good. I love perfume and um, yeah, I'm happy to have finished this one and I flipping love this scent. I'm not gonna repurchase it right now because I'm going between um, Gucci Bamboo and Rose from Elizabeth and James. Those are my two big ones right now, but um, this one will be in my future for sure. So that's it for empties and I think, um, I'm just gonna do the giveaway and that's gonna be this video because that's already 15 minutes. <laughs> and to be honest, I don't really have much going on today. I'm going to do some work. I'm gonna mail some merch and a Christmas present and maybe just take this opportunity to relax a bit. I did spin this morning and I am tired. So let me get the giveaway for today, shall we? Uh, it is a big one in my opinion and it's something that makes me feel really nostalgic. I have here my top five favorite albums of 2018. And yeah, they're old school, they're CDs, but um, if you would like to win these, keep watching. I'm gonna go through them quickly and then I'll tell you which ones you can win. So these are in no particular order and honestly, like some of them are actually, all of them are surprising to me. One of my most listened to albums this year was the self-titled Shawn Mendes album. And, oh, you can totally see my camera. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, if I bring it closer, is that, oh my God far further away. Okay, I'll hold it back here. Um, I love this album so much. I cannot believe how much I listened to it. So Shawn Mendes, um, another one that I listened to so many times is Ariana Grande's album that came out this year, which what? Uh, it is called Sweetener and it, like the song, um, what song was it? No Tears Left to Cry came out when I was in Palm Springs and it's like always makes me think of that. I love Breathe In. Um, it's a great album. So Ariana Grande's, this is how it actually looks. It is actually upside down. So Sweetener is part of the giveaway. Carrie Underwood's Cry Pretty. Um, this is her sixth studio album and I felt like we were due for it. I love it. She did not disappoint. It's much more mature. This is the first album that she has like producing rights on and she wrote a bunch of the songs. Can you tell I've talked about it a lot of times on the air? This one. Another one which I just like, you know, 
started listening to because I like him, but I haven't liked everything he's done. And then I found myself just listening to it front to back over and over is Graffiti You from Keith Urban. I love Parallel Lines. That's probably my favorite song on the album. And then a second close would be Horses with Lindsay L. To me, this is just like one you could have on in the background. I have done so much work listening to this album in 2018. And I feel like... It's just, it's just an easy lesson, front to back, it's a good one. And then the last one, which was also in a giveaway in Vlogmas 2017, um, cause it was one of my favorites last year, and then again this year. I listened to this so much, and it will always hold a very special place in my heart because in 2018, I took my niece Elizabeth to see her, It's Reputation by Taylor Swift. Flipping love this album. I know it was controversial, I, oh my God. I know not everybody liked it but I listen to it all the time still. Front to back, it's so good. Put it on shuffle, like in the car, I dance to it, I love it. It's so good. So those are the five albums that, five? Yeah, these are the five CDs that I'm gonna be giving away in today's video. I know lots of you are music lovers like me and hopefully you still have a way to play CDs or at least get these into your iTunes. Uh, I was gonna do just like an Apple Music gift card, but it's so hard with all the different countries that so many of you are from, and I wanted this to be more personal. So, this library of five albums you can uh, win. Comment down below, tell me what your favorite album was of 2018, or what your favorite like music moment was, maybe it was a concert, maybe just like one song. Ooh, maybe that's what we should do. Scratch all of that. What's the one song that defines 2018 for you? or will like always make you think of 2018. Like I said, that Ariana song. This has turned into a really long, sit down, unexpected video, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways. I did, these are so fun. Auntie Anna, I hope you appreciated the empties. I know you love them. And let me know if you guys still like empties. I'm pretty sure you do because they get a lot of views and a lot of great comments. But if you're over them, I'll stop doing them next year. Enter the giveaway. I'm so freaking excited one of you will win these. Yes. And I'll see you tomorrow, friends, for Vlogmas Day 13. What? That's bananas to me. So thank you for watching. Please lace up, become a marathoner, subscribe to my channel. Life's on a sprint, it's a marathon. Enter the giveaway, comment down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.